they claim they need to make people uncomfortable. They need to do it in, in order to meet their goal. Like it's part of some plan. They target someone with pain and weapons to maintain their own comfort level rather than work under uncomfortable conditions. Maintaining their that is a necessity to the point where it supersedes their original goal. So the fact that they will even adjust their own comfort level to the detriment of the original goal is a testament to their counterproductive pride. Even though they make it a point to make people uncomfortable while they are at work, I mean, come on, part of their job description is to pinch people in the butt while they're at work. They claim that their victims were going to do something wrong and their program relies on them doing so. If, however, they don't do anything wrong, you know, it will not work. So their solution is to shoot the ones who are completely innocent with energy weapons and noise harassment to get it to work. They have no other backup plan for these people because they are so certain they would commit an offense that they would even have they wouldn't even have to work. They throw accusations at people and exaggerate them, even though what they're doing is the same thing, only way worse. Okay, and then they have the audacity to try to use those accusations to justify themselves, what they are truly doing, um, in spite of knowing these are false accusations, well, even though they know exactly what they were doing when they committed their own crimes. They roll deep on their victims, okay, with gang stalkers um, and energy weapons to ruthlessly and blatantly dumb people down when they attack their brainwaves. And they have the audacity then to believe they're naturally stronger and naturally smarter than their victims. If that's true, why do you need so many, bring so many people with you? And if you're so much smarter, why are you trying to dumb us down by making it so we forget what we were just thinking about or trying to slow down our brain processes? If you're so much smarter, you wouldn't need to do that to defeat us. And the fact that they wholeheartedly believe it, that they're so much smarter just because they know something, just because you have more information doesn't make you smart. It's not what you know. It's how you think. And after taking part in the weakening and dumbing down of somebody else to think you're smarter than them naturally is a testament to how stupid you are. Uh, they tout their cowardice as if it were some kind of strength or a testament to their intelligence. Well, chast chastising people who have demonstrated courage to openly attempt to defy them as weak. And then they expect these people who have demonstrated courage um, and failed to feel ashamed of having had the courage to fight back anyway, to feel ashamed of their failure, of of it. It's worth mentioning that they who have tried and failed may 